Good day, grade 11s. In this lesson, we will look at electrical energy and power. We know that a circuit contains a battery. The cells in the battery contain chemical potential energy. When the circuit is closed, the chemical potential energy is converted into electric potential energy. As a result, electrons move around the circuit. As the electrons move through the various components of the circuit, potential energy is converted into other forms of energy such as heat and light. We define the rate at which electrical potential energy is converted into other forms of energy as electrical power. Power is represented by the letter P. Mathematically, power equals E divided by delta T, where E stands for the energy and delta T, the change in time over which the energy was converted. Power is measured in watts with the symbol W, so we can now fill that in. As we know, energy is measured in joules with the symbol J, and time is measured in seconds with the symbol S. We can therefore see that the watt is joules per second. There is another way that we can think of power. In an electric circuit, the potential difference across a circuit component is the energy transferred per unit charge. Energy transferred is also the work done as the charge moves through the component. Work is given the symbol W. We can write this in symbols. V equals W divided by Q, where V equals the volts, W equals the energy transferred, and Q is the amount of charge. We also know that current through circuit element is the rate of flow of charge. We can express this mathematically as I equals Q divided by T, where I stands for current, Q for charge, and T for time. If we now combine these two equations, we can get a new equation for work. Since W equals V times Q and Q equals I times T, we see that W equals V times I times T. Now, this means that we can use this to express power differently. We know that power is the rate of transfer of energy. We express that as power equals work divided by delta T. Remember that work done and energy transferred are the same thing. This means we can rewrite the equation. Power equals work divided by time. But we know that W equals V times I times T. So substituting in, we get P equals V times I times T all divided by T. We can see that the T's cancel, leaving us with a new equation for power. Power equals V times I. This is a very useful way to think of power and is a useful mathematical expression to solve power problems in circuits. There are two other equations that we can use to solve power equations in circuits. These are P equals I squared times R and P equals V squared divided by R. But to truly understand these equations, we need to see how we derive them. We use a combination of Ohm's law, V equals I times R, and our second equation for power, power equals V times I. If we use the V from Ohm's law and substitute it into the power equation, you can see that we get P equals I times R times I. This gives us the first of our derived equations, P equals I squared times R. Now let's derive the last equation. Again, we start with our two equations, Ohm's law, V equals I times R, and the power equation, P equals V times I. But this time, instead of substituting for V in the power equation, we use Ohm's law and substitute for I. We first need to make I the subject of the formula using Ohm's law. Therefore, we can see that I equals V over R. We can now substitute this into our equation for power. Therefore, power now equals V times V over R. And this then becomes P equals V squared over R. So, to summarize, 
In this lesson, we learned that stored chemical energy in a cell is converted into electrical energy in a circuit. The rate at which this electrical energy is converted into other forms of energy is called power. Power can be expressed using various mathematical equations. We've seen that power equals energy divided by time. It can also be expressed as potential difference times current. And then we derived two more equations for power using Ohm's law. P equals I squared times R and P equals V squared over R. These equations are very important and will help us in future to solve energy problems in both series and parallel circuits. That's all for now. Goodbye.